Hey, I'm Animated Outcast, and I'm back with the Lion Song. And it's been a little while since I've played this. I've been really busy lately with work. Uh, they're giving me an average of like 30 hours a week, which I guess is good for money, but not that great if I want to do YouTube stuff, because that takes time, and then I'm tired, and then I don't want to do anything. And if I try to record something, I'll mess something up, and things will not record properly. Because that's happened a few times already this week. But none of that. Let's get into the game. Last we left... I can't remember her name. In the Vienna University Library. Where I believe she works. So, let's get on with it. This could indeed be the correct beginning. But how to continue? How can I observe functions of change? No! Maybe I've overlooked something. I forgot to read that bit, because she doesn't say it after I click on it. I'm returning Boy's Own Adventures. It was so exciting. Pirates and soldiers and mountain climbers. Your book is overdue, young man. That would be too Cronin. Sorry. Thank you. Good day. Hmm. A small boy swallowed some coins and was taken to the hospital. When his grandmother came to see how he was, a nurse said, no change yet. I remember that. I really liked that bit. That was funny. Why can't I see it? A state of change. That's like... A state of change. A falling... Crap, I forgot to read it again. A falling leaf? It's a fitting image. Excuse me, is this a good book on gardening? My roses are being difficult. The Art of the Formal Garden by Carl Dorn. Yes, madam. Professor Dorn is a noted botanist. Bye. Sorry. Nothing I try is correct. I just don't know how to continue. I'm uncomfortable. Almost done with work for the day. Maybe I should get something to eat and just try again tomorrow. Yes. Some food from the market should change things. Uh, put the books away. Half an hour later. Okay, now we're gonna go to the cafe. Yeah, cafe. Café Olé! Yes, madam. I would like to dine. Of course, I will show you to the table. I can't remember the voice I gave him last time. So sorry if the voices are inconsistent, because I have an inconsistent mind. Also, I'm thirsty. Mm hmm. I assume we're finished eating. So I keep walking, buddy. I'm just gonna go to the bathroom. Should I need to go? I know where to go. Oh, I guess I don't have to go to the bathroom. Barging in on the radius again would be a waste of time. Yes? Oh, it's you, madam. Would you like a piece of cake? We have... It would be easy to let myself be tempted. Oh. No, thank you. All right, then. Rude. He seems worried. I thought I saw something else. Oh, cakes. The cafe offers a wide variety of cake. 
Father preferred savories to cake. Cake. I wonder whether they even considered evaluating political systems. To improve upon pre-existing systems. It's a bit chilly today. It actually is kind of chilly out today. I like it. Me today. Bonsoir. It's no use. The radius would never allow women. But perhaps the circumference will. Get it? Radius and circumference? Math joke. I just want to go home. But I need something to eat from the market. Oh, we were supposed to go to the market, not the cafe. I think. Well, we've already dined though, haven't we? Are we not full? Pardon me. Huh. I could have sworn this was the way to the market. Where are we? I wonder. Women can't be mathematicians. Is it possible I could fool them? But how could I? Father, your clothes. You left them to me. Oh, Father, you left them to me. Are we going to become Father? Thank you, kind sir. Wow, Ra. Fashion for men. It wouldn't do for a lady of my age to enter unaccompanied. What? To hell with status quo. I'm going to exit the outdoors now. So... We still... Okay, so I guess that was over there. Just sidetracked from the market. Loads of meat. Aw, oh, yeah. I could buy some meat or a goulash. That's, that always feeds me for a week, and it tastes better every time I reheat it. Today's specials. Fresh ham, 22 per kilogram. Labor case, 23 per kilogram. I guess. Pretty lady, anything for you. What does it... Excuse me, what does it say on the on this blackboard? Oh, can't you read it? I thought that it was very well written. It says today, 25 grams of chanterelles for 40 heller. And one kilo of bullets for one crone. I see, thank you. But why the potato drawing at the top? Potato? That's a... That's a mushroom. Oh, of course. I totally see it now. What do you have on sale? Everything. Hmm. A kilo of potatoes, please. Potatoes! Potatoes! Where am I? I don't see my kilo of potatoes. Where are they? Yes. I would like to speak up there. I would like to buy something. All right, what do you want to buy? I, um... Some pretzels, please. How much money do I have? Do I have a limit of how much I can buy? Excuse me. How can I help the lady? Your mouth doesn't move when you talk. How do you do that? Long years of rigorous training, my lady. I don't even need to blink anymore. Always vigilant, always at the ready. Neat. Shalom, my lady. How about some flowers? To brighten up these gloomy times. No, thank you. Flowers never survive long in my hands. I was going to grow some herbs at one point, but I couldn't find the time. Oy vey! Oh, she's a, she's a funny one. 
A myriad of multicolored spices and powders. Is that it? Ah, fine lady such as yourself would surely be interested in some exquisite ointments, yes? What exactly are you selling? I sell all kinds of useful things. Cures, ointments, and curiosities. The lady might be interested in these eye drops. They make the pupils of the eyes dilate. It is deemed very attractive. The lady can certainly benefit. Excuse me. No disrespect was meant. The noblest of intentions. I only wish to help the lady become, well, more. I am not interested. My mother used such drops and she nearly went blind. Well, if you're not going to buy anything, please make room for customers that do. Alright. Father left me his clothes. I could use them to pose as a mathematician. They're at home in the wardrobe. And there's nowhere else that seems interesting to go. It was at Hofburg. Here's my kilo of potatoes. I wonder. I wonder if there was like an achievement for buying everything. Papa's clothes. I can use them to pose as a male mathematician. And finally get access to the radius. Let's see. <gasps> Do I get to choose? I need something to cover my hair. Top hat! I can push my hair into the hat. Glasses? Yes! These will make me harder to recognize. Yeah, pullover, vest, vest! I don't think that fits the outfit. How do I need a shirt first? This will look sharp. No, vest doesn't fit the outfit. I could use the trousers. How about a pullover? That will get too hot. I'll start sweating. And I won't be able to take anything off. Can't wear my skirt. Perfect! Tie! How about a cane? Pretending to be old or sick? That would probably draw too much attention. Trousers. These pants would do nicely. It's a bit big, but I think that will work. That should do. I can leave the outfit on these chairs. Potatoes and pretzels. Oh, that's right. I forgot I got pretzels, too. I don't know how to continue. Huh. Hello, Emma. Okay, what else is there to do? Chair. Nothing there. Oh, just change. I can cheat my hair to look like a sideburns. Hello? Who? I have it. Hello, Emil. Tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll leave the radius speechless. Yeah. The next day. Now, the radius will receive a meal. It's raining. We should, we, should, we should have an umbrella. Oh, I really like the clouds that they have there. It's a really cool effect. Oh, and I can just change between Emil and Emma. Interesting. Very interesting. I like this game. I like it a lot. Good afternoon, sir. I believe you are new to our cafe. How can you tell? Oh, I never forget a face. Extraordinary. Well done. How may I assist you? 
I am Emil. Um, Shell. A visiting mathematician from Berlin. I was told I must introduce myself to the gentleman of the radius. Berlin? How wonderful. Unfortunately, you are the first to arrive. Surely there would be no ob no objection to my waiting in the back room. My dear sir, of course you are welcome to wait for them in the back room. Do you see the door? Ah, the radius. Yes. Very clever. Ha. Huh. I thank you. However, you might have to wait quite a while for the radius to arrive. Perhaps you might want to come back later? Oh, perhaps I will. Nope, I'm going in there. I'm going to snoop. Whoop, oh, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. That's bad. I clicked off the screen. Everything is fine. Ignore everything that just happened. Which was nothing. Achievement unlocked. Alpha. I have to pass some time until the members of the radius arrive. By snooping. Uh, uh. A painting of some mountains. The label reads, Pure Alto. Them's the mountains that Grandpa climbed. Doesn't look like anything to me. Grandpa from the last episode. The last episode of the game. Can't remember what Grandpa's name was. Can't remember what the main character's name was. Oh, my memory is garbage. Empty seat. This seat is very clean compared to the others. I can't stand sitting. Problem of the week? Keeping their minds active. With puzzles posed by Zoller, no doubt. Intriguing. And this week it's about the origin of the number pi. Hmm, pi. No. I must prove myself by solving this. Pi. The radius. Circles. Ooh, my cursor changed. Not sure what I'm doing. All I know about pi is that it's 3.14, then followed by a lot of other numbers. Ah, if I picture it like that, then it becomes fairly obvious. Pi is the key to the circle. Yes. Ha. Well, no one around to see it. I should come back later. I don't want to feel like I'm intruding. Santa? An empty fireplace. Someone drew a pie in the ashes. Heh. <laughs> Clever. It's a picture of the members of the radius. Okay. There's a deep impression in the backrest of the chair. It seems like it's been in use for a long time. The chair smells a bit like smoke, and there's some cat hair. There's some curious scratch marks on the armrests. This chair reeks of cigar smoke. Hmm, there's a bottle of schnapps underneath. Can I have it? Schnapps! Schnapps. Carpet. Even the carpet has the, carpet has the radius symbol on it. Strangely deformed seat. My god. That is an impressive buttock imprint. I wonder whose seat this is. <laughs> that is an impressive buttock imprint. Quite, quite. Yes, indeed. Hmm. 
one state changes into another. But how? I don't know. The lavatories. I'd rather use my own at home. Using these facilities might prove awkward. Yes? Would you like some coffee? Yes, please. No milk, no sugar. Certainly. Black coffee. Mm. Okay, thanks. Bye. Okay, so now we have to come back later when the radius is actually here, I guess. Um. Hmm. I wonder. That herbalist who was being totally rude to me when I was Emma, I wonder if he'll be any different now that I am Emil. Oh! I heard you are sp <clears throat> I heard you are selling some special paint. My name is Gustav Klimt. I am sure you've heard of me. Herr Klimt. What an honor! But... Sadly, I already sold my paint to someone else. I am very sorry. What? Who did you sell it to? A fellow named Markert. That was the guy's name. Say... Oh, very well. Can I interest you in anything else? I have... No, no, it's all right. <laughs> For a master painter, achievement unlocked. Mein Herr, welcome. Can I help you? What exactly are you selling? I sell all kinds of useful things, cures, ointments, and curiosities. For example, maybe I could interest you in this exotic powder. Ground bone of a colorful beast. It invigorates and rejuvenates. No, I... The effects are well worth the price. To be blunt, this sounds very weird. Do people actually buy this? Mein Herr, no need to be rude. I assure you, men of all walks of life buy from my stall. Hmm. Well, if you're not going to buy anything, please make room for customers that do. Road still. Hmm. Maybe the radius has arrived by now. I could try getting past the major. And into the radius. Oh, whoops. I... Oops, I didn't want to do that. Exit to the map. Cafe. Look at me, I'm so fancy. I have a top hat on me. Potassium and Pac-Man room. There they are. What have we here? A visitor? You must forgive me, gentlemen. I hope what I have written here might serve as a calling card. Ah, so you are our secret provider of insight. The maitre did mention a guest. That is quite remarkable. Gernot Zahler at your service. And you are? My name is Emil Schnell. Schell. From the Frederick Willems Universität in Berlin. I thought I knew most of the fellows at the University of Berlin, but please feel welcome, sir, to... The radius. You obviously belong. Can't you see? It looks cozy. Oh, whoops. Was it you who's just talking? Rubbish. They're arguing. I don't want to intrude. How's about Smokey McGee over here? Let me introduce myself. My name is Emil Shell. Roush. A pleasure to make your acquaintance, Herr Roush. <laughs> What is your field of expertise? 
Complex Analysis. Number Theory. A prime combination. Your fields of expertise. Prime? No. No sense of humor! Okay, those two are arguing. This guy looks like he's sleeping. Huh. Good day, my name is Emil Shell, and you are. Good day, Herr Shell. My name is Stefan Nenner. You said you are from the University of Berlin. Yes, that is correct. So you are a lecturer as well. I teach at the University of Vienna in the mathematics faculty. I look forward to comparing notes. Um, gladly. Huh, I found something. Why don't you ever listen to me? Okay, is there anything else to do in here? Salar? Ah, shell! <laughs> what? Tell me, do you know many lecturers at the Berlin University? Do you keep in touch with them? Um, some of them. But I was out. Do you know Robert Karch? I'm a just asking because. Never mind why. Do you know him? No, I'm sorry. Oh, that's a shame. Robert Coach. I should look that name up when I get the time. In case it's important for my rules. Do you teach at the university? I myself attended the Berlin University. Studied under the great Karl Weisschef himself. A gifted man. And me, of course, this best student. There were others. Oh, that Russian woman. What woman? She wasn't even allowed to audit classes. But never mind that. You must surely know of Weierstrass as well. Father of modern anal analysis, they call him. Weierstrass. I'd better learn more about my colleagues in Berlin. Of course, but so you see, I am very selective about the radius members. I so Herschel, you are a professor. You are a professor at Berlin University. Well, of course you must be, but probably very new to it, actually. Or a supply teacher, Herr Zauer. What? What is it? I would like to talk about my theory. Fine. Let's hear it. Functions of change in conjunction with time and states. Um, curious. That sounds a lot like my own work. Well, I cannot deal with such distractions at this time. I need to work on my own theories. But do ask the other members. They need the challenge. Smoke Cloud Man. I'm looking for help with my current thesis. Topic. Functions of change in conjunction with time and states. Hmm. Not my area of expertise. Goodbye. Wakey wakey. Huh. These guys are still arguing. I already talked to Nenner, didn't I? Yes. see something. Oh, I can't leave. I'm stuck in here. Alright, well, let's talk to Nanner quick. Yes? I'm looking for help for my, with my current thesis. What are you working on? Functions of change. I'm looking into change states in these kinds of functions. Intrigued. But I don't think I can be of much help to, with that. My focus is on discrete mathematics. Unmoving parts of constant systems. Perhaps one of the other members of the radius could assist you. I have a question about one of the other members. What do you want to know? Who's the man sleeping in the corner? That's Elric. The doctor in our circle. Why is he sleeping? It was subtle at first. He just fell asleep one time and no one noticed. Now he feels so at home here that he just falls asleep every afternoon. We've known him for so long, we don't really mind. 
about the two fellows arguing? Nikik and Worm. Excuse me. Those are their names. Um, the one on the left is Nikik. They don't seem to get along very well. Don't worry, they fight a lot. What about? Math, mostly. Okay, I'm... I am out of time, because I have to f go to work today. Soon. Ish. So, I'm going to leave this episode here. Let me know how I did in the comments below. If you liked it, hit the like button. A little thumbs up thing. If you're not subscribed to my channel already, you can do that if you like. And you can click on the little bell if you want to get notifications for when I upload videos and stuff. I'm Animated Outcast, and thank you for being here.